here i'm trying to knead some dough and uh, this is uh umix fortified umix uh, mandazi flour for they're saying ongeza maji like add only water i've never used this flour my sister-in-law requested me that i make mandazi for her she she brought the flour she brought the eggs and the milk so here i just said i just added one packet of brookside uh, milk the big pack and then i added two eggs and then uh, yeah and some malt margarine i just added some prestige margarine just a spoon a teaspoon not too much so i want to knead this uh dough until it comes together and then i'm going to make uh the mandazi i'm not even rested <laughs> This festive season, Jameni, I've not even rested. I just made mandazi in the morning for my children. And here again, I have to make. But anyway, she requested and I really respect her. So I'm going to make the mandazis for her. So guys, I've been needing this dough for like six minutes continuously without even resting. And I'm telling you, I hope it's worth it because... When you knead your dough so well, the better the results. You see how clean the, this basin is? This is as a result of just kneading it, by the way. Nothing magical. I just needed it. So, I'm going to keep kneading for like 3 minutes. And then I cover it and let it rest for 20 minutes. For even much more result, good results. Yep. It's been sitting for an hour, and I think that is enough. It's because I went to do other things, so I'll start rolling them. I have the oil there, and start cooking the mandazi. So I'm trying to roll it like this, so that I can remove the air, because whenever you uh, let your, your dough rest, normally it creates some bubbles, and I don't want to make my mandazis and uh, see bubbles on the mandazi. I just want them to be as neat as I wish them to be. So I'm just uh, cutting into smaller portions and putting them aside, so that I can make, I can take each ball, and uh, roll the mandazis uh, and make them yeah so let me know in the comment section what kind of uh, unga or flour that you use because i've never honestly used this umix before i've never even seen that umix me i don't know where I, <laughs> but i've never seen that but it was the best the best flour i think i'm going to hunt a hunt for it and start making my mandazi using the umix uh, flour i've always been using eggs self-rising or maybe all-purpose flour where i just add baking soda and baking powder and then wait for them to rest and make mandazi but if you ask me to compare a hundred percent i would go for umix from today and forth i'm not going to stress myself with the yeast and uh, with the baking soda and waiting for the flour to rest i'll i will i will just go for this umix i tried it and it was the best i think it is it is even better than um x x all uh, or self-rising flour from x it is much 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 better because when you make the mandazis they are a bit soft compared to the x one because I've, I've always used the same ingredients to make the X one, but I've never gotten the same results as, as these ones. I always struggle to make them. Of course, they come out soft, but are not as soft as these ones that I had uh, made. So I'm going to partition these uh, mandazis into smaller squares because I did not want to make the triangles. I did not want to struggle because the working surface was as uh, small. So my oil is also heated up, so I'm going to put the mandazis and starting uh, start uh, cooking. Actually, I love them golden brown, not light brown, golden brown. Golden brown is better, yeah. So long as the mandazi is cooked up to the inside, that is what uh, that matters. So to my returning subscribers, 
you are the best <laughs> you are the best finding time to come back and watch my videos i'm always so so grateful for your return and appreciating and watching and sharing i'm i'm really really feeling so good and i thank you so much for that for those watching me for the first time please do consider subscribing and also to my to new subscribers feel 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 much 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 welcomed so i did not have a spoon amanda's spoon it's up country we don't i i, I did not buy that and nobody had it so i was just uh flipping the mandazi using the same knife i was cutting the dough itself but i used the spoon the what the serving spoon to remove the mandazi from the the oil yes so as you can see they are done and they look really really nice i just want to remove them from the oil and then let them uh drain for some time and then i'll take them and these mandazis were so many but i tried you see the entire container is so full see that it's so full so that is it for today guys thank you so much for watching until next time bye